to be winning. They died on the battlefield, meaning they failed the test. They died fighting. They died praying for a spouse. They died fighting or praying and believing and hoping for their children to turn around. They died and prayed, believing for their ministry was going to come to fruition. They died on the battlefield and never tasted the goodness of victory. But isn't this the God that led us out of Egypt? Isn't this the God that parted the Red Sea? Didn't I do everything, God? I stood with a bunch of Christians. We camped on the Word. We did this, but why? Jesus. Is my marriage going to hell in a handbasket? Why can't I get my spouse to understand we need to come in agreement? Why are my children living in a rebellious state of mind? Why am I losing? I go to church every week. I go to Bible study every week. I'm doing everything I'm supposed to do, but I'm losing. Somebody need to say that ain't right. I done paid tithes 20 years, and I still can't own my house. I done paid tithes for year after year, year after year, and I got to drive a beat-down truck, a beat-down car. I, something's not right if I'm serving a good God. Why am I losing when I should be winning? How could we still be losing when we did everything right? The Bible said they listened to the word of Samuel. They listened to Samuel. Samuel represents the pastor or the one that now God is using. The key optimum word is now using. My God, I don't want to jump up, but I'm anxious to get there. I'm anxious to get to the meat of the word. Number two, they were rooted and grounded in the word. We're going to camp right here and we're going to take our position and say, I'm going to just keep praying for my spouse and God's going to make it better. I'm just going to believe this. I'm just going to stand on this. But they died on the battlefield. How? I got a prophetic word for somebody here today. You will not die under my covering. I said you will not die under this covering. You coming off the battlefield. You're going to taste the goodness of God under this covering. You're going to know what it is to be the head and not the tail. You're going to know what it is to be above and not beneath. But I got to tell you the word of the Lord. Amen. I got to tell you that shacking up is wrong. And all the married people said amen. 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 I got to tell you you can't be doing drugs and thinking God's still going to hear from you. It's wrong. You cannot be lying and thinking God is going to move on your behalf. Amen. The devil is a liar. My God, I'm trying to tell somebody, Eli may be blind, but I'm not blind. Eli may be afraid to tell some folks to get right, in particular his son. My God, I want to jump so bad you don't understand. But they got used to listening to Eli, and Eli was letting stuff go on in the church because he couldn't see. And even though I'm standing on something, my God, how many know polluted water stink? Yes, Jesus. Hallelujah. The church is hurting because we got people out of their place. Amen? Amen. See, here's what the word, the word of the Lord came to me and leaked in my spirit. The church has been tasting, Minister Rose, a little bit of visitation from God instead of a whole lot of habitation from God. Amen. May I ask you today, do you rather visitation or would you rather habitation from God? Amen. Do you understand what I'm trying to tell you this morning? Yes. Listen to me, please. I understand. Listen, years ago in Louisiana, people... Uh, the, the, the prophet, the apostle came to me and he said, man of God, you operating under a pastor, but you got an apostle and anointing on your life. And I'm saying, okay, God, tell me what that really means. Somebody need to pay attention right now. What I'm trying to tell somebody, if you go and buy a Kia car, the nature of an Ikea car is it's supposed to give you 45 miles to the gallon. But it cannot get you 0 to 60 in 40 seconds. So it cannot do opposite of its nature. How many know if you buy a Camaro, a Trans Am, if you buy one of those fast sports cars, the nature of a sports car is to get you from 0 to 60 in 30 seconds. Is that right? But how many know it won't get you 45 miles to the gallon? You cannot say, I bought this car and it won't give me. It's only going to get you 15 miles to the gallon. 
Allen. May I ask you this morning, if you're looking for the nature of a pastor, you're wrong because I have the nature of an apostle. And my apostolic anointing deems I must get people in line that you can receive your hundredfold blessing. And when you get in line with an apostle's anointing, you can be the doorman and get your house. Are you listening to me? When the anointing is right in place, then everybody begins to get blessed. But I'm trying to tell somebody, some of these people were still listening to Eli, Hopni, and his brother Phineas. Come on, turn to your neighbor and 